Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We are now servicing the 1.4 TDI three cylinder Blue Motion Polo. It's a 2009. Um, this is basically the PD 1.9 engine with just one cylinder missing. So all the parts are the same, the same sump plug, same oil filter. Um, the only thing that's different is the air filter and the fuel filter, um, just because of the positioning. So we'll just get into it straight away. You only need very, very minimal tools for this. You need a 32 mil socket, which is here, for the oil filter, which is there. You need a pair of pliers for the fuel filter to take these spring clips off, and that's it. And then a 19 mil spanner for the sump plug, which is obviously underneath, we'll show you that in a minute. And the only other tool I haven't got here, which you do need, is a T20 Torx bit for the air box to change the air filter. Now this car has a ram air filter fitted, so it's just to undo it and clean it. I've done a service on that in my videos. If you want to see how to service a ram air filter or KN, it's the same thing, or same style of air filter, sorry. So yeah, that is very, very basic, very, very easy service. So it's much cheaper to do it yourself. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So first thing I do when I start a service, I do the oil first. So I let it run in while I do everything else. So first thing, I take the oil filler cap off to relieve any pressure. I just pull the dipstick, leave it loose, and then we unscrew the oil filler, filter cap. It's not tight, it's only plastic, so you do not over tighten it when you do it back up. It will just suddenly go loose as the rubber O-ring comes out of the housing. So then, you just unscrew it, pull it, and you'll hear it pop as the seal breaks and then all the oil will drain down. So now I'll just leave, rest it back in so that can now drain into the sump. So now I'm gonna jack it up, get underneath it, take the sump plug off and let's get this dirty oil going. Now, the last thing to comment on with the oil, make sure the oil is hot before you drain it. Now this has just done a 20 mile drive, so it's red hot, because if not, a lot of the sludge gets left in the engine. With it hot, it all goes nice and thin and washes it all out. So yeah, let's get it up in the air and get back underneath it. Right, now we're under the cart. So there's the sump plug, right there. It's a 19 mil, it's covered in rubbish at the moment. I'm gonna clean that off. So yeah, we'll just undo that. And uh, I've got my bucket here. And you wanna hold it, it will come rushing out. So it comes out in an arc, it ain't gonna drop down. So have, have it directly underneath, but be prepared. The oil will be hot, so rubber gloves. And uh, be prepared, it's gonna launch away from it, not come straight down. So yeah, I'll get it undone now. Right, so there you go, just short shot, there she goes. Right, put that sl And you'll see, as I do it, it's gonna fly out. Now the, the thing that always is a pain, put one finger in the middle, spin it the other two, so you can catch it, so you don't drop it in your oil bucket. As. Long old Fred, and there he goes. Look at that, right the way to the back of the bucket. So that's that, we'll uh, get back to you in a minute when it's all drip dry. Right, so we've just come to the side of the car. Oil filter time now, I've left the oil dripping, so that'll be all gone by the time we've done that. So with this, cut to the bottom. Now, it's a pull up, but it's clipped in. So there you go, just snapped. See the teeth, that just clips in. So what I always do, before I throw it, make sure the new one is the same size, I've got the same plunger, which it has. So get rid of that. A new oil filter slides on top and just click it in. And that's it, nice loud click, done. And what I also do, which I, is replace this rubber O-ring. Get rid of that. Here's a new one. Put it down over and just roll it around. Now see the old one's all soft and loose. This one just rolls down over. And there's a big fat groove at the bottom of the threads. Just keep rolling it down. There. And it just sits in like that. So then, we just take it back to the car. Take it back, that can just go straight in. Okay then, we'll clean the top off afterwards. 
and it will just get there rubber o-rings on it right when you feel it bottom out just a little tweak there is a torque setting for that but it's only plastic a little extra tweak just to make sure it's tight it's under no pressure under the internal oil pressure so it's not going to unscrew so don't go mad if you break it that's not a cheap fix right guys so she's all dripped out put a new washer on your sump plug and then wind it back in all the way back in and again with i always treat a, a sump plug like a, a spark plug see so you, you get it so it's all the way in and then wait till it stops it goes tight and then just a good tweak you know just there. don't go mad because you can rip the threads out but it's, it's got to be tight but don't go ridiculous and that's it clean it all off now what i advise is once it's all done give it a really good clean off fill it up put about i say fill it up put about three liters in leave it up in the air run it so you build the pressure up leave it running for a couple of minutes to make sure you're not dripping so you, either the the sun plug's not tight enough or you didn't put a new washer on once you know that's correct you can put the belly pan back on and then put it back on the floor so right let's get some oil in there and make sure she's not leaking right so we're ready to put oil in now all volkswagen audi cars use c3 530 fully synthetic it has to be c3 so 530 fully synthetic that's the oil of choice now there's lots of different manufacturers it, you know some people want to spend the extra i always put the best oil i can in my car this is a, a cheap run around they just want it's a good oil but it's you know everyone has their own preferences so yeah i'm going to put three three liters in now and i'm going to run it up pressurize the oil filter and then we'll put it on the floor Check, see what's in there. Oh, I've got another litre or so to go. Right, that's three litres in. Let's fire her up. Right, so one in. So let's just check we've got no leaks. So she's back on the floor, so we put three litres in, and that has only not even got to the minimum mark. So we'll put these hold four and a half litres. So what I do now is put another litre or so, and then we'll work it up to it. Don't just put four and a half litres in because you don't want to overfill. So So we've got a litre left to go, so, or well, half a litre left to go. So I'll put another few hundred mil in and then check. So let's go to the dipstick. Make sure it's pushed all the way in to flat. Pull it out. Dry, clean. Give it a few seconds to get to the bottom. I'll check it multiple times. Still not there yet. So, the difference between minimum and maximum is only a few hundred mil. So we should, slowly, there it goes, it's now on minimum. Right, so that should have settled down. So let's just check it now. Wipe it, make sure it's nice and spotlessly clean. And there we go, right bang on the full mark. Perfect. 
So let's uh, put this back together, get on to the fuel filter. Done. Right, next the fuel filter, nice and easy. So these pair of pliers, there are special clips, but these aren't particularly difficult ones. Just squeeze them off. I run them up, up the hose a little bit. There she goes. There we go. And just break the seal, walk it off. I try and leave them high so they don't drain out and they don't get any less air than you, you need to. There she goes, just twist and pull. Always twist when you're doing it. There she goes. So he just breaks the seal and yeah, walk it off there. So leave them both high. Now there's three little feet that just lock it in. So you just pull them out, unclip, unclip, unclip. And that she comes. Now make sure the one going in is the same, same angles same size then what you do is you feel this now some people prime the pump and whatever else well, that's a lot of hassle and if you haven't got the computer to do it so i just fill this back full of diesel little funnel fill it full of diesel till it leaks out the other side so and then put it in connect it up i've never had them cut out on me so as long as you fill this full of diesel before you put it back in it's not an issue and that means you don't need a special computer so we'll go fill this full of diesel and then we'll connect it back up right so that's full of diesel so we'll put it back in it's a snug fit now the feet are over and then what you do you line them up slide them back on so the angles nice and neat so there's no sharp corners sharp edges and there you go and then clips one This is where using the correct tool works because it grips the clip better. There we go. Yeah, right. Now let's just fire it up and make sure we have no airlocks. There we go. As you see, all running, lovely, smooth. So that's full service bar the air filter. Well, that's again, teach you any tools, undo the top and replace the filter. Very, very simple. So yeah, I hope that helped. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.